uh, 12.10 and sketching gradient functions so we'll sketch a gradient function and see how it look like and then This is y equal x square. Oh, if x equal x square. one minus two minus two what is the coordinate of this point when x equal one this is one one y one square also y what is the coordinate of this point this is two two square or four So this coordinate is 3 and 3 square 9. So this is again minus 1, 1. Minus 1 square 1. So this point minus 2, minus 2 square 4. So this is minus three nine. So those are the curves. Those are the points, some points on the curve. I will get the gra uh, gradient function. If if x is x square, if dash x is now two x. This is also a function. Or oh, you can see this is y equal to x now. This is a uh, equation of a line. So having this idea, now we'll find the gradient of this point. When x equal 1. So f dash x equal 2x. Right? When x equal 1, f dash 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 so shall we mark this point when uh, x equal 1, f dash value is 2, 1 and so 2 here. This is 4, this is 1, 2. This point is 1, 2. Then uh, this is x equal 1. What will happen? x equal 2 f dash 2 not fx f dash this is 2 times 2 4 uh, ok so this is 2 4 this is overlap those point so I am doing the gradient function now now when x equal 3 f dash 3 is 2 times 3 is 6 so this is 2, 4, this is uh, 3, 6, so 3, 6 is somewhere here. This is 4x equal 1, this is the curve value 1, 1, but the gradient value 1, 2. 
So this is the gradient point. How about x equals 0? x equals 0 if dash 0 is 0. So it's going through here. It's true, right? So gradient is 0 in this point. It should be because this is minimum. What is the at minimum? Minimum is a stationary point. What is the meaning of stationary point? Neither increasing nor decreasing. Then it has to be, the gradient has to be equal to zero. Gradient has to be equal to zero. Then uh, when uh, minus one, when x equal minus one, if if uh, prime minus 1 equal uh, 2 times minus 1 minus 2 somewhere here can you see now I am doing the gradient graph so if I draw this is the graph right so in this point what is the gradient this one in this point, what is the gradient? This one. In this point, what is the gradient? This one. In this point, what is the gradient? This one. And in this point, what is the gradient? This one. In this point, what is the gradient? Is now you can see, is this a negative gradient? Yeah, it is a negative gradient. And can you see that you got a negative value? That value has to be minus 3, minus 9. Uh, minus 6. So the gradient of this point is minus 6. The gradient of this point is minus uh, minus 4. Minus 2, minus 4. The gradient of this point is minus 1. The gradient of this point is this point, which is 0, which is true, right? So gradient of this point is this. The gradient of this point is this, that is all up. And gradient of this point is, so when you draw, you should have a positive gradient, positive, right? This distance divided by this distance, this has to be positive. So you can find that gradient is equal to what? 6. So now this is basically gradient function. When you differentiate, you will still get a relationship between y and x. So that is also work as it's a different function of x. So this is the curve and this is the gradient function to relate to this curve. How gradient behave? Right? When you go like this, the gradient behave like this. Gradient is a line minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, not minus positive to positive, negative to negative infinity. Now you can see that I gave the curve of uh, equation of this curve. What will happen if I don't give the equation of this curve? Now I give this curve and no equation. You can find dy by dx. Now how do you draw the gradient curve? You know the shape is still. So we know this is the minimum point. What is the gradient of the minimum point? You know that this point is 0, 0. And when x equals 0, what is dy by dx value is 0. So that is 0 and 0. Why this is 0? Because, because this is a minimum. That's why you take this is 0. When x equals 0, dy by dx 0. Now, when x equals 4, 
what is dy by dx do you have any any information is this minimum or maximum or a point no then we can't find the only way the geometric way we have to draw a tangent line touching this one this is not accurate make 90 degrees then you measure this distance a then you measure this distance b then when you a divide by b what do you get gradient so that is positive so then when x equal 4 a divided by b that is the answer then when x equal 4 uh, this is x equal 4 i think yes x equal 4 um, you found out the gradient now right since we know this is quadratic equation, the two is enough, we can draw the line because to draw a line, it, we should have two points. Uh, how do you find the gradient of this point? Then, over tangent, D and C, or D divided by C, take the negative value. So when x equal minus 4, dy by dx equal minus 4, d over c negative, because the negative gradient. And then you mark that value here and draw. Um, y equal fx, this is the graph. Uh, now we want to sketch the gradient graph for this one and we know this is maximum and this is a, a point of inflection here so first of all so this is gradient graph if you want right if you can dy by dx as well x versus dy by dx now in this point let's say in this point in this point in here what is the gradient gradient is dy by dx is zero how do you mark zero here in this point zero is in that case this is the point on the line and um, how do you mark uh, this gradient is positive or negative? The gradient is positive gradient. So it should have a positive value. So how do you show positive and negative? You can see that this all positive, this side is negative. So then the graph should be on top. So those are the positive values here. So this is the positive. So the gradient of this place is this one. So gradient of this one is this. Gradient of this one is this. Gradient of this one is this. And gradient of this one is this. Gradient is all positive. Don't confuse. This is in the negative side, but we are not looking... Uh, we are looking at the gradient, different feature of it. Gradient means two distance of division of uh, two distance. We are not looking the how far from this x axis. Now, what you can tell about this place? This place also dy by dx. So if this is a, so this is a point and what is the dy by dx value? Zero. So how do you mark zero? Yeah. Now from here to you can see negative gradient. So how do you mark negative gradient? So gradient in negative side it means 
this is positive side all the drawing should be in this side now so it will come like this and uh, it should go up to here now what is the gradient here negative if you do a tangent or negative then it can't be in this side then what which side it should be in this one so it has a negative gradient here this graph doesn't follow this one so if it follow like this to this side then when this graph go down this has to be come down no this is two different characteristics we are taking discussing this is gradient so you want to look at for this point right b what is the gradient then you get the b right mark that value the value is going to be here so that's how you want to draw the uh, gradient function so we have simple rules we'll discuss now uh, we'll draw the gradient graph for this curve so this will take f dash x what is f dash x uh -huh. now i can see x equal my maximum it means dy by dx value or f dash x value is zero so where the f dash value is zero so x axis mean f dash x equal zero in this line any place f dash dy by dx equal dy by dx equal zero line then in this graph this is this mountain but in this graph it is going to be when x equal minus one it is just a point on the line and this this one it is a minimum and that minimum gradient is zero so that is also on that line dy by dx zero so this is minus one four what is the dy by dx points minus one zero dy by dx value is zero x dy by dx value in here x x dy by dx in here in this point x equal one dy by dx zero so i mark one zero point on that one and from here to here you can see that that is clearly positive the gradient is positive when you do a tangent you know that if you see a line this to this direction is positive right all tangent are positive how do you write positive values here so positive values hmm? positive so it should be here from here to here gradient is negative hmm? negative gradient so negative mean negative values so negative values is here Those are negatives. And when you look at this side, you can see gradients are again positive. Positive tangent. It means it's going to be positive. Uh, this is a chart. I just uh, copied the chart on the book. Uh, uh, page uh, 217. Seventy-seven. Uh, maximum or minimum, you can cut the x-axis. Point of inflection touches the x-axis. Positive gradient above the x-axis. Negative gradient below the x-axis. Uh, vertical asymptotic, vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptote, horizontal asymptote. Let's discuss the exercise and. Uh, let's go back to the exercise.